Hey, what's going on? It's Stranger, and welcome to another YouTube music production video, where my mission is to help you succeed in making music. And in today's video, we're going to be doing part three of my Amen tutorial. So if you haven't seen the previous Amen tutorials, then make sure you check them out in the link below. But we're going to take it to a next level today. Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite Amen track? If we can get it up to 500 likes, then I'm gonna give you guys the project and the samples for free. If you wanna stay updated on the next video, as well as more giveaways, then make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to get it up to 5,000 subscribers and I could really use your help. Also, I just wanna let you know that my jungle production kit for Ableton is out now. The Jungle Production Kit is a customized Ableton project file where I provide you 146 different MIDI patterns and 20 layers which you can use to combine and create new jungle and drum and bass ideas with a click of a button. It's an awesome creative tool to jam on and you'll have a lot of fun with it. So if this sounds good to you, then check the link below for my Jungle Production Kit. All right, without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so we're gonna talk about how to make your Amen pattern stronger and more interesting. And I'll just show you some common patterns that I use with the Amen. So I have a processed Amen here. Again, if you wanna learn more about processing Amens, then check my previous Amen tutorials. I will go further in future videos on this particular chain where I use some multiband distortion with isotope trash, but that's gonna be a longer video. So I'm gonna save that for our next video. So I'm gonna create a one bar clip here. And I'm gonna change it to the eighth note view. We're gonna put a kick on the first beat, and then we're gonna put a snare on the second beat. Now we could put a snare on the fourth beat like that. However, in a lot of jungle, we have a snare on a half beat over here. Now the next step is just to fill the space in between. So we could have a ride symbol here. And in between the snares, we can add the 16th note shuffles here, like that. Now we can change up the shuffle at the end here. There's a double kick here. Now there's a bunch of different shakers and amen, so I encourage you guys to try the other ones as well. Each one has a different character to it. So we can copy these guys up here. Also, I really like the snare up here, so you can try this one as well. It has this really hollow tone to the snare, which I like. Now another sequence we can do using the same kick snare pattern is the fill in between with this kick and ride like that. So now we have this. And that's used a lot in jungle as well. Another thing you can do is you can replace the last beat with a shuffle. Okay, once you master the one bar pattern, then we can take it to two bars. So under length, make it two bars. Now a common thing we like to do is to duplicate the last three eighth notes here, which is these guys here. Now this section is also known as a dotted quarter note. Essentially a dotted quarter note is just three eighth notes together. Sometimes we call it a fake triplet because it's kind of fitting three notes in one. And then we're gonna duplicate this three times and then just remove the last eighth note here. Another thing we can do is just remove these guys. At the end of the Amen sample, there is a crash snare pattern. And that crash snare pattern, again, fits into a dotted quarter note. So you have a quarter note for the crash here, and then an eighth note for the snare here. And then you can duplicate, remove the last eighth note. And we can hear this in jungle a lot. Okay, one more pattern I'm gonna show you guys. So kick on the first beat, snare on the second beat. Now again, we could put the snare on the fourth beat like a common kick snare pattern, but then we're gonna actually move it forward one eighth note. Now a cool thing we can do here is add a kick here and then fill the rides in between. So now you have this. Now you can fill the space here with the ride as well. But what I like to do is then add the shuffle. Okay, now on to layering the Amen. So I'm gonna add a eighth note hi-hat. It just helps with the tightness of the Amen. 
we can layer it with the shaker of the think break. Let's pitch that up, add some EQing, remove that low end. Okay, another break I like to layer with the Amen is called the tighten up break. So we'll model the same pattern as the Amen. And then fill it with shakers. Let's EQ it a bit. Play it with the Amen. So I tightened up the tighten up break, tongue twister there. Added some isotope trash to do some multiband compression and gating. Okay, another way we can make things more interesting is to duplicate the Amen and then make different versions. For example, we can duplicate it and pitch it down. And then switch between the high Amen and low Amen. Okay, let's add an 808 so we can hear it all together. I'll add some saturation to the 808. So bum, 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 bum. Then hit legato to connect all the notes. Let's make it a four bar pattern to make it a little more interesting. Change the last note here. So we have a four bar pattern. You can also just switch it on the last bar. Another cool trick we can do is apply some filter sweeping to the actual hits of the Amen. And I like to do this particularly to the crash of the Amen. So I'm gonna look for the crash slice 13. So turn on the filter, and then I'm gonna set the frequency cutoff to around 300 to remove that high end. And then we're gonna turn the amount of the filter envelope to max. And then you can adjust the decay. Increase the resonance to make that filter sound more juicy. Okay, let's listen to what we got. Okay, that sounded really good. And I learned this trick from Dillinger from his old school jungle tracks. So shouts out to Dillinger for this trick. Let's extend our eight bar sequence into 16 bars. Another trick we can do is to introduce some snare rolls. So I'm gonna go into this last bar here. Now there are three ways to execute the snare roll. We can automate the volume, the filter, or the pitch. Now make sure you're in a 130 second view and then let's add a snare roll on the last beat here. And then let's adjust the velocity, hold control or command, then click and drag up to draw a line. Now you can set the sensitivity of the velocity lines. Just go into your sampler, make sure you're on slice three for the snare and then set the velocity to volume sensitivity to 70%. Okay, so now let's try sweeping it with the filtering instead. So let's go back into our sampler and set velocity to volume to 0%. So there's no impact to volume. And then turn on the filter and then set velocity to filter to 100%. And then we can increase the resonance to say around 30 or 40%. It'll just make that filter sound more juicy. And finally, we can do some pitch bending. So let's go into the envelope mode and just make sure we're under the MIDI controls and choose pitch bend. And we have a dot here and let's have a dot here and then we're gonna draw a line up like that. Or we can go downward. Now another technique is to introduce some filter modulation to the greater sequence of the Amen. It just allows for more articulation of the Amen so we can kind of tell a story with the Amen. I'm gonna pull in auto filter into our pitch down Amen here. And let's set resonance to about 40 to 50% to make that filter sound really juicy. And then turn on the automation mode and just make sure the lines are set to modulate the frequency. So we can do that by clicking on the cutoff button here or choose it on the drop down. And then let's draw some points. Boom, like that. And then make this a curve. 
Okay, let's draw some more. Put a line here, put a line here, boom. Let's do another one, boom, 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 boom. And one more at the end here, boom. Another way we can introduce filter modulation is to use a call and response technique with the cutoff. So add an auto filter to the main amen here. Again, let's bring the resonance to about 40%. Make sure to cut off as at the max. And then use your pencil and just bring it down like that. Using this kind of filter modulation, we can really articulate and tell a story with the Amen. And we have a really strong 16 bar section here. And really encourage you guys to learn how to write strong 16 bar sections because that makes it easier when you move on to the arrangement stage. And now that we have some juicy filter modulation happening, we can group the Amens together and apply some saturation. So let's bring in Ableton Saturator into the group and then set the drive to around four to six dB. The saturation will really bring out that crunch and that juiciness of that filtering. Now we can adjust the base to around two. It just changes the character and texture of the saturation. Now let's listen to what we got. Let's bring the tighten up break back in the shaker and let's hear it all together. All right, so we have a really strong aim in section here. And as you can see, just with a couple different tricks, we can really tell a good story articulating the Amen. And just to recap, what we learned was a couple different patterns we can use with the Amen. We can also use the call and response technique on the pitch and filter to really tell a story. And then we learned how to add little changes within the Amen sequence, such as snare rolls and adding that little filter sweep on the crash to add more articulation on that amen. And of course, when you add those extra layers, such as the hi-hat shaker and the tighten up break, it really brings your track alive. So I really encourage you guys to practice and master these skills. It'll go a long way to help you write some strong jungle tracks. So if you found this helpful, make sure you hit the like button. Again, if we can get it up to 500 likes, then I'll give you the project and samples for free. And if you enjoyed this video, it'd be amazing if you can share it and hit subscribe if you haven't already. It'll really help me out. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks again for watching. Keep practicing and I'll see you at the next video.